Hi, this is Noel. Hi, I'm Zahra. We're here to answer your questions. The basic monitoring cycle is usually three steps. Blood test at the start of the bleeding, scan blood test in the middle of the cycle, and blood test toward the end. Sometimes you might not um, follow, because your ovaries might be not uh, following the right path, maybe you need to come more than once. Four visits, five visits, depends. But most of the patients will take three visits. By the time you deliver, you'll have a nine month and depends on the type of delivery. If you do deliver more naturally, hopefully after a few months you can come back. If you do have a caesarean, sometime a lot of obstetrician will advise you to wait a little bit longer. And this can be up to one year. Ten is considered a good number. AMH is very important for us to understand your ovarian reserve how many eggs is estimated per your age, and it helps us also to finalize which protocol we can put you on. Yeah, but it will not reflect quality, by the way. It's only number, so you can even have one egg and have a baby. And we do have a lot of complicated cases in our clinic where they have a very low AMH, one egg, one embryo, one baby. And it's age-related. Uh, so if you are age 40 plus and your level is 10, that's usually very good news. It means that your ovaries are really still behaving well. But if you're young, maybe you need to speed up the process and come and have a treatment. Um, any, anything in between, at this level, is considered very good. Another thing that we have always to say, to think of, is that uh, AMH is not only done, it's not only the same, some different labs have different levels. So you might be 10 in one lab, and it could be 12 or 15 in other labs. So you have to make also a consideration on that. Yes, yeah, sometimes we would like to continue because as, as Dr. Noel said earlier, you need only one egg uh, to, uh, to get pregnant and people who are trying to get pregnant naturally, they grind out with only one egg. So yes, we sometimes, if your hormones are going well and this egg is kind of growing well, we can go with one egg and retrieve and hopefully get success. What you need to understand, it's, it's not going to be a very easy journey. Every step will be very risky for you. Maybe you will not have egg from the egg collection. The egg might not fertilize, it might not divide. So every step is more risk, but if you eventually manage to have an embryo, uh, your chance is really good, hopefully. The other thing we have to think of also, a lot of patients that we see here in our clinic have got a lot of cycles before, have not been successful, and here with the close monitoring, we looking at your levels very carefully. We can go sometimes with one egg, but hopefully it will be the success that we are looking for. The waiting list is not really long, currently maybe between five weeks to six weeks. By the time you have your monitoring and your assessment, you'll be ready to go. Once you have the appointment, the initial consultation appointment, then they will not. There's not going to be any waiting list, it's going to be straight away into the system and you can start whenever you're ready. So it's really, uh, it was really nice to answer your questions. And if you have got any more questions, please leave them in the comments. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.